Hey guys, welcome to the Bourboneering Twitch channel or YouTube channel, depending on when you're watching this. I'm your host, Austin. It's cocktail hour, so we're going to make a cocktail. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to walk you through my go-to old-fashioned recipe, and then I'm actually going to make uh, my fall apple old-fashioned. And I'm going to talk about the whiskey and the other ingredients that I use and highlight some really cool uh, smaller craft ingredients, if you will. So let's get started here. Uh, so I'm going to run down what I have in front of me. Not all of this will be used in one cocktail. It's actually going to be used in a couple. Uh, an old fashioned is three ingredients plus your garnish. It's very, very easy. So for, uh, my whiskey today, I'm, ha I'm using river set rye. Um, this is from BR distilling, big river distilling company in Memphis, Tennessee. It is, I'm going to give you a quick note about it, but I love it. I've reviewed it on my channel. I have an episode with them actually uh, talking to one of the owners. And the reason I'm using this today is because it has a real strong, light, like crisp apple note on the nose and taste that I really, really like in a fall apple old-fashioned. Now, this is 93 proof, and I usually like to go 100 or above for my old-fashions because I really like it to be whiskey forward. But this one just works so well, and I'm going to kind of atone for that lower proof in just a second. You'll see. Mm, very, very good on the nose. Crisp apple refreshing. Not, not a usual rye by any means. Mm. It's like apple juice. Alcoholic apple juice. Even more so than like a apple brandy. It's like a crisp, clean apple. I need some water, actually. Woo! So good. And it's a great price. I'm not sure what that sound means. Something just popped up. Anyway, um, yeah, it's very, very crisp, very uh, refreshing as far as a whiskey can go, for sure. And the price is great. Uh, it's not available in Louisiana yet, but our neighbors have it. And it's, it's uh, I believe, in the mid-30s, maybe even lower than that. Mm. But I love, love, love this, this rye here. So that's the rye we're using in my old fashioned tonight. I also want to shout out a couple other things. This one won't be in the old fashioned I make, but it's going to be in the old fashioned, uh, my go-to old fashioned, which I'll explain in a second. This is a uh, Syrup de Saison. It is a relatively local company out of, I believe, Lafayette, Louisiana. Met, uh, I've met the owner on Instagram. Great guy. Great company. Um, makes an awesome. This is basically just a simple syrup. It's an old-fashioned cocktail syrup, uh, but you know I still add bitters to it. And I just it has, you know, it's made of cane sugar, brown sugar, vanilla. It's it's fantastic. This is what I go use for my go-to old fashions, and I'll give you that recipe in a second. But shout out to those guys over there. And then of course they have the classic Angostura bitters. This is your classic. Uh, if you can find it at Walmart bitters. Uh, they're aromatic, and I use those. If you want a simple old-fashioned, all you need is some simple syrup or some syrup de saison, some whiskey, and some Angostura. That's it. Um, but I also have some more fun bitters that I'm going to be playing with. I use this in my my usual my house old-fashioned, but I'm using it tonight as well. And it is a wa uh, chocolate walnut bitters from the Bitter Queens. It uh, It's so good, so good. And then the little extra step I do for a garnish is I put a, a cherry from Traverse City uh, Whiskey Company. They make cocktail cherries that I think go above and beyond your regular Luxardo cherries and definitely better than your basic, uh, you know, ice cream sundae maraschino cherry. So that's kind of the, the ingredients I have in front of me. I'll talk about equipment as I go along. But real quick, I want to just give you my house old-fashioned recipe. Again, I'm not making it. In front of you because I, I only want to make my fall one today but and I, I'll do a more in-depth video later but my house recipe for an old-fashioned is simply two ounces of bourbon I usually go old granddad 114 it gives a nice punch but it's still delicious two ounces of that now notice I only said two ounces because it's a little bit higher proof I'll go half an ounce of my syrup de saison or a homemade simple syrup but I usually go with this for my my house cocktail. Then I'm going to do two dashes of orange bitters, which I don't have in front of me, sadly, and two dashes of these chocolate walnut bitters. That's four dashes of bitters in total. 
I uh, mix that in a mixing glass with a little bit of ice. I strain it into a chilled glass on the rocks and I add one of these cherries with just, just the smallest a bit of the juice. And it just adds a perfect little bit of sweetness. Drop this through on Yes. Yeah, uh, so if you notice my Be Sober hat here, uh, Baton Rouge Bourbon Society, Bourbon Society of Baton Rouge, gosh dang it. I'm gonna get it right one day. If you can kind of see in the background maybe of my second camera, I have our barrel pick bottles sitting out over here. But I was introduced to Syrops and uh, the the uh, Traverse City Whiskey in general, but Traverse City Whiskey Cherries through Baton Rouge Bourbon Society. So that's an awesome group if you're local. You hear me talk about it all the time. Join, join, join. Um, but anyway, so that's my house old fashioned. It's really easy. I'll make a video talking a little bit more about old fashions and their history later. But I want to talk about my my fall cocktail. Now, my fall cocktail, like I said before, uses the River Set Rye. It's more of an apple old fashioned. So this apple note I get in the River Set, it works fantastically. Uh, I don't have any apple bitters, although that sounds pretty cool. So I'm using my regular Angostura. And I'll be using the chocolate walnut bitters here. Uh, and I love Syrup de Cezanne, and it makes an awesome old fashioned with just these ingredients. But I'm actually using a homemade simple syrup for this. Now, this simple syrup, it's an apple simple syrup. And what I did, so I'm going to start from the beginning. Simple syrup is simply a mixture of water and sugar. Now you can play around with that with the amount. Usually a basic simple syrup is equal parts by weight of water and sugar, usually white sugar. Or you can go with brown sugar, demerara sugar for different kind of flavor profiles. And then you can also infuse things in your simple syrup, like cinnamon is a common one. Uh, tea, I have a tea simple syrup in there. Uh, you can go a rich simple syrup, which is usually two parts sugar to one part water by weight. and that just adds extra sweet and uh, richness. You can add some vanilla like Syrup de Cezanne does here. Uh, fantastic. But what I did here, I did something a little weird. This, instead of water, I used apple juice. And what I did was I took the bottle of apple juice and looked at the added sugar in the apple juice. So I had a gallon of apple juice. I didn't make a whole gallon of this, but to make numbers easier, I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's say that's, what is it, 128, uh, ounces of apple juice found out it had I don't remember the exact number but 50 let's say 50 grams of added sugar in that well to make a one-to-one -one simple syrup apple simple syrup I didn't add a whole 128 ounces of sugar I went ahead and only added I added 128 minus the 50 grams of add yeah minus the 50 grams of added sugar uh, do some conversion, do some math there, and it comes out to just about a one-to-one -one ratio. It's actually a little bit richer than one-to-one -one because the added uh, sugar, there's also some sweetness there before that, and that total weight in the bottle is based off the apple juice, not just the liquid. So it's a little bit richer than that, but basically I just added some sugar to some apple juice, and that's my simple syrup. So without further ado, let's get going. So talking about my equipment, what you're going to need is, I'm going to pull out my glasses in a second, but you're going to need a Hawthorne strainer uh, or any kind of strainer really, but this is kind of the traditional mixology strainer. Uh, you're going to need a measuring device, either a measuring cup or uh, a jigger. Uh, and then you're going to need a spoon to mix with. Again, you don't have to have the fancy bar material. You can use any kind of spoon, but that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm sorry. You're making your own co cocktail, Jess? Come on now. I was hoping you'd, you'd be on to criticize me early on, Jess. All right, so I have a fancy ice chest down here holding my my glasses. So this is the mixing glass I was talking about. Again, you don't need the fancy cocktail equipment. You can use any glass that holds ice and that you can pour into easily. I'm using this because I have it and it was a nice gift set. So can we see that in the mini camera? I hope so. Sorry, this is my apple or, or fall old fashioned. I'm still working on the name here. So we're gonna start with, I'm, I'm gonna make a double of this because I'm gonna be drinking this all night. So I'm gonna take some time, but you can make half of this. So notice how I used two ounces 
in my household fashion recipe because it was a higher proof whiskey. I'm going to use, because this is only 94 proof, 93 proof, I'm using two and a half ounces. So I'm two and a half ounces rather than the two. It kind of makes the whiskey stand up front. And again, oh yes, make an apple syrup. <laughs> so I'm using five ounces because that's two and a half times two because I'm a, making a double and I want to drink this all night. So this filling this side up once is two ounces. One. And I broke my own own rule already. Usually I go with the cheapest ingredients first and then go into the uh, more expensive one. But when old fashions, I like to have a good bit of liquid in there first. I don't think this is gonna fit in my, my glass now that I think about it. And then one, one ounce. There we go. That's a lot of whiskey in there. So I let this glass sit in the freezer. Normally when I'm making this in my kitchen, I just get the ice out the fridge. Um, I let my serving glass chill with some ice in it, but the mixing glass I don't. I did this so I can take it into another room and you can kind of see it's hindering my mixing ability here. So we might see that in a second. All right, now for the simple syrup. Uh, normally I would add still half an ounce just like I would in my, uh, my household fashion, but because I'm doubling it, it's gonna be a whole ounce. Like I said, it's, oh, it's a sweet apple juice here. All right. And finally, we got our bitters. I normally do one dash of the Angostura to two dashes of the uh, chocolate walnut bitters. But again, doubling it, so I'm going to do two and four respectively. One, two, and I only do two because this Angostura bottle, it comes out, when you dash, it comes out a lot more than this bottle. So that's kind of why. It's still about an even amount. So it depends on your bottle. One, two, three, four. All right. Now finally, give it a stir. Again, I don't know how well this is gonna stir. Oh, it's not too bad. It looks like a lot more liquid than it really is. I get about eight to 10. I don't really count usually. Uh, talking about technique, just while I'm here, again, don't need to do it. You can mix it any way you want. But for these special spoons, you put it in on the edge of the glass and then kind of twist it so the back of the spoon is always touching the edge of the glass. It does a little bit uh, better job of mixing without diluting, just a little bit. I'm not using special ice. I'm not that strict about it, you know. If you don't have some snobs, but so now I'm gonna put my filter on, or my filter, excuse me, my strainer, and pull out my whiskey glass. This is from a local bar. It is, uh, I'm drawing a blank now. Wow. Hey, right, Scandal. I'm going crazy. Great lo local whiskey bar. I think they just opened back up, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't been back since COVID, but uh, they put on some awesome cocktail nights for us via Zoom early on. All right, pour it into my glass here. Hopefully it all fits. Yep, there we go. Again, it's a, I, ch I like to chill my glass and put ice in there because I don't like too much dilution, but that's part of the mixology aspect of it. You want a certain amount of dilution. Now, if I had the special, you know, round cubes of ice, yeah, they're open, good. Uh, the round balls of ice or the, even the cube, big chunk, I wouldn't be as worried because those melt slower, but I have fridge ice, so. That's what I'm dealing with. Ooh, I'm spilling. All right, so the last little bit here before I try this is my cherries. Again, normally I only put one cherry with just a little bit of syrup, just a little bit, especially in this, just a little bit. Uh, this time I'm putting two cherries because they're so dang good and it's a double, so I have to. It's just the rules. One. Some people put them on the, the stick. Some people put on a toothpick. I just plump them in there. Two and just a little, little bit of the syrup in there. This cocktail is going to be sweet enough. You don't really have to worry about it being too unsweet. That's Again, that's why I'm using a rye in this. Not just the apple notes I get from it, but it's a little less sweet than a, a bourbon. So, all right, let me give you some uh, some tasting notes. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. All right. So it's not my stream. I hope not. I'm getting, it says good on here. So I'm assuming it's good. Thanks for letting me know though. All right. 
that apple stands out. It's great, but it's not overpowering. It's not like a sweet apple juice here. You get the apple juice note. And if you're wondering, it's uh, Kirkland apple juice, the big old jug of it at Costco. Then the apple note from the river set's really crisp, more of a, not a Granny Smith in that sour note, but kind of that crispiness. Um, and then I get the, the sweetness of the cherry and the sugar. Just a little bit of that chocolate from the, the bitters. It's definitely not overpowering, but it's there. It's a nice little layer. I'm not a mixologist. I just play around. I just play one on TV. Um, I just play around with it. So I'm not really good at telling you what flavors work together. I just know what I like. And I think these flavors work really well together. I've tried this with orange bitters and it didn't work. I love the chocolate walnut with orange bitters in a regular old fashioned. But with this apple, I don't think the app, you can't compare apples and oranges. So I don't, I don't think the apples and the orange works well together. Y'all, I got these great jokes going on. Somebody tell me I'm funny. I do. <laughs> mm. So of course I have to give you a review of the cherry, right? Normally I wait to the end, but it's a beautiful, sweet cherry. Mm. I could eat, eat those out the jar all day. Frank, you got a, a, a live stream coming up tonight too on Instagram, huh? <laughs> Thanks. I, I'm assuming that's David on the B sober. I don't know, but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Frank the local cocktail guy, he may not be on here right now. He's having issues. I believe he's got a live stream tonight on Instagram on his Instagram account, the low carb cocktail guy. Uh, I think he's talking about vodka, so I can't officially endorse it. But I was on it last week, and it's a pretty good show. So I guess I guess uh, we'll let him slide on this one for sure. <laughs> uh, do y'all have any any other comments in the chat over here about what what do y'all use in old fashioned? What's your go to? I know y'all love to play around. <laughs> Jess is uh, moderating for me. <laughs> I know, Jess, I know you play around with different simple syrups and bitters and all that all the time, but what, if you just come home from work and you need an old fashioned, what do you, what do you make? Mm. It's delicious. Now, most of my, my viewers know Jess from Twitch at least, but if you're on YouTube and you're watching this and you want to get into Twitch, of course, come follow me and check out my stuff, but go, uh, go find Kitty Sunshine 0506 on Twitch. My friend Jess, she's the one who got me into this Twitch world here and in the cocktail world. So go check her out. She does awesome videos. She makes way more advanced cocktails than me, way more fun cocktails. And way she's she's way better at the Twitch thing. Black walnut bitters for the win. Yes. Yeah, they are fantastic. The, oh, I'm sorry, these are my chocolate walnut, but black walnut, same difference. Delicious. Mmm. The blood, uh, all right, so for those on YouTube and you can't see this chat, Jess uses a, does a blood orange old fashioned and she keeps about 10 syrups in, in her mini fridge at any given time. Yeah, she is super creative and loves playing around with cocktails, so way better at it than I am. So that, that's about all I got tonight, y'all. That's my cocktail. Uh, I'll go more in depth in an old fashioned maybe even focus on some bitters or some simple syrups uh, in future episodes. But for now, that's my fall. Uh, I, oh, yeah, I get these chocolate walnut bitters. Uh, Bitter Queens is a brand. Uh, Joker Judy chocolate walnut bitters. I found this at Oak Point, but apparently they don't have them anymore. So this is, you know, an allocated, uh, allocated bottle here. Mm. Yep, so uh, future episodes, I'll go deeper in Old Fashioned. Old Fashioned is my favorite cocktail by far. So... So I followed. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're on YouTube, thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. You'll hear that in the outro. Cheers, y'all.